So welcome to today's session, Adapting to Change. Adapting to Change. So how adaptable are you to change? How adaptable are you to change? It's a good question to reflect on. How adaptable are you to change? What comes up for you in the face of change? What comes up for you in the face of change? And these are some really important questions to start looking at because change is a constant, particularly on this path of heart-led business, soul-led living, where you're following that inner guidance, inner knowing, inner wisdom, change is a guarantee, right? Because you're going to be moving away from the old systems, the old structures, the old programs, the old ways of thinking, the old ways of being, even maybe the old ways of feeling, right? Reacting into one that is more heart aligned, soul aligned, purpose aligned. And so this journey means change it means change and change is not comfortable and change is really challenging for our human being part of ourselves right it's not an easy thing it's not a comfortable thing but it's one thing <laughs> to get very used to it's get comfortable with being uncomfortable get comfortable with being uncomfortable because this is this is part of the journey. So I want to talk about it today because it's, it's inevitable, right, in life, right? Change is going to happen. Change is going to happen in life. But particularly when you're following the heart and following the soul, you're going to be guided into all sorts of spaces and places that are way out of your comfort zone. They're, they're beyond the world that you've known. They're beyond your experience of living thus far. And so when we are being, you know, presented with change, other change that you know might be out of control change that's happening from the outside world in, or inner change that you're consciously choosing, right? Through taking aligned action in your life and your business, what comes up, right? This is what you want to be start becoming masterful at is really getting clear on how do you react to change in the face of change? What comes up for you? And to be the witness and be the observer. So you can really catch it, right? Catch how you react and respond to that so that you can support yourself through those changes. So really fascinating. And I'd love to hear, I'd love to know what comes up for you. Um, and it'd be super, super interesting to hear because I think this is really valuable to dive a bit deeper into. So there are some steps I have here to share with you, some essential steps in how to navigate change. You know, change that is guided by the heart and soul, change that is led by life, just being alive, this change that's happening, and how to support yourself to be adaptable through change so you can thrive through change. Not easy, but very, very important. And as, as we move through these years to come, this adaptability is going to become one of your superpowers. Being adaptable at this time is a very, very important tool to develop, right? We've seen that in 2020, big unexpected changes. So you can look back. How did I react to that? How did I respond to that? And unknown changes that are coming in the future. But what I know is that when we're deeply listening to the heart, to the soul, to the inner guidance, there is always a through line. There is always a place of flow. And it's part of the journey to become this masterful adapter to change that's heart led, soul led. Not easy, but very, very important. So, and this is in the face of, you know, maybe shocking difficult, unexpected changes, but also equally in the face of wonderful changes. You know, maybe these are changed, some changes you've wanted for a very, very long time. What I find, it still blows my mind that those very changes that you might be asking for, you might've been working on manifesting, you might've been wanting when they appear, when they manifest, oh my Lord, 
what can come up then? So all sorts of triggers and challenges. And this is still, I just still find, I find it actually quite funny in a way. The very thing you want can actually terrify you more than anything or, or trigger your trauma or make you just want to run and hide. Um, so it's a really interesting dance between all of these experiences, all of these experiences. So the foundation principle is that when we're connected to the heart and soul is trusting in the journey, the soul's journey, and also trusting in life. The foundation principle being life has my back. So what if life has your back? What if everything that is here is happening for you? Really difficult in the face of major challenges. So this training today is about learning how to dive deeper, dive much deeper and go mining for gold, go become the, the great cultivators of gold through everything. This is something that I've become very, very good at over a very long time <laughs> of deep diving. Um, and it's still not easy, but it becomes sort of faster. I find I move through stuff faster now. It's not that faster is better, but it's about how quickly we can surrender and listen. So some of the steps are, so in the face of change, I want to give you some of the steps that there, um, you'll have heard me talk about in one way or another. But in the face of change, like I said, unexpected change that can be shocking change or change that you're actually cultivating, you're actually wanting to create, either way, what can come up in the face of change, all sorts of things, but are, we can get deeply triggered, your trauma may get triggered, your old wounding, the old stories, right? Because they're here as well. They're, they're living and breathing through the body, through the nervous system, through those neuro pathways are very, very strongly cultivated. So first, what do you do in the face of change? And that is my step one, relax always. But my step one for here is hold yourself, hold yourself, nurture yourself, give yourself what you need in the moment to essentially eventually calm, to essentially eventually be able to let go and surrender. So you wanna hold yourself through that change. You need to give yourself the deepest love and care you can muster, right? The deepest love and care. Hold yourself with love and care and safety through change because that little self, the small self, the wounded self, the inner child self, will be really often really having a huge reaction sometimes. So we need to hold the small self, the ego self, the wounded self, the inner child self that is not on board, <laughs> that is not on board with this change, right? That this very change could threaten the wounding, threaten the inner child, right? Threaten your past experience because past experience tells you that this is not safe. You have evidence from the past, right? So you need to hold yourself. And this is what I call, you know, heart-led leadership, being the leader through this change. So hold yourself, step one. Step two is release, release. And creating that space where you're holding yourself to release and let go, to surrender. Very challenging in the midst of a trigger right? Very challenging. So again, we need to go back to holding, 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 right? And perhaps receiving one-to-one -one support, maybe you need to be held by another person, which is, you know, essential so that you can release, so that you can surrender, so that you can let go. And if you can remember, it's like, how much can I surrender in this moment? What if I completely surrender? Because what happens with the trigger, the trauma is that there's a grip, right? There's a bit that grips and holds on and it's trying to hold on for your life. The walls go up, the bears go up, protection goes up. So we want to surrender as much as you can to surrender to what's happening so that you can flow through the changes, right? So you can start flowing through the changes. Again, it might take a little while to find that place of release, surrender, letting go, but this is what we're moving towards. So you wanna hold yourself until you find that, ah, that release. Again, that can take you know, a few hours, that could take a few days, that could take a few weeks, depending on what's going on. Keep holding yourself so that you can release. And this is releasing that kind of 
that, that um, trigger reaction that happens through the body, through the nervous system and through the mind as well. Beautiful. And when you have got to that place, eventually as much as you can of surrender, releasing, letting go, surrendering to what is here, that courage to face it, that courage to meet it, that courage to face what is here in the depth of vulnerability, not easy, not easy. We wanna tune in and listen. Tune in and listen. This is where you want to start tapping into that inner guidance, that inner wisdom that's going to guide you through and lead you through. Sometimes it takes time to find that. So that might be through meditation. That might be through journaling. That might be through movement. That might be through talking to someone. But we want to tap into that inner wisdom, inner guidance to help lead you through this change. To take your hand, to take the hand of the small self in that leadership, that abundant heart aligned leadership and guide you through that change, right? So we want to be listening. What, what's, what's the guidance here? What's going on? Processing, listening to the inner guidance, inner wisdom. We're gonna start cultivating the gift here. Where's the gift? Where's the gift in time, right? We need some patience. And from that place, the next step is to embody, to become. So a question for your inner guidance, inner wisdom is what am I growing into? What is this situation growing me into? What am I being, what am I evolving into? Because that small self wants to stay where you are and what you know. And that abundant part of you, the heart, the soul is, is here for expansion, is here for growth. And life is actually here to help you with that expansion and that growth sometimes and often through challenges and triggers so what is this calling me into you know what is this opportunity growing me into what am i becoming so this is an embodiment we want to step into it and start to embody that Ooh, what does that feel like so it's like putting on a new a new uh, suit <laughs> right? You've been in the small self suit. And now we're stepping into the, ooh, this next level. What is this? Hmm. Starting to embody what that is, what, are you, what you're being led into, what you're growing into. And it, this is an aspect of yourself that's always been here, but it's often been hidden. It's been shut down through trauma and wounding. And so it's you actually stepping into a more aligned embodied version of you it's like that part of you that you know, but you hadn't dared to really step into yet or bring to the table. We often hold a lot of shame in there. So this is also about kind of stepping through the shame, stepping through the fears and starting to embody and hold yourself on a new level. So embody, become, embody, become. So again, each of these steps, they take some time sometimes, right? And it's, it's like, oh, do I dare to become this? Do I dare to embody this? And that again might re-trigger the wound itself. And so we go through these steps, hold yourself, release, tune in and listen, embody. And so sometimes we're moving you know, through these steps all the time, right? in and out throughout the day. We wanna come back eventually to this surrendered, embodied, tuned in listening part of you this is the part that you want to lead your life from now not that small wounded self anymore well you can it's fine it just creates more of the same okay and then step five is aligned action so from that place what action am i being guided to take at this time sometimes you are being guided to take action in the face of change and the action might be more surrender right? More self-care. The action might be something powerful in your business, in your life, making changes, setting boundaries, finding your yes, finding your no. We want to tune in from that embodied place, that new level, what aligned action am I being guided to take? The action is very important. If you want to kind of see change in the world, the physical change, we are going to need to take aligned action, action from the heart, the soul, this new embodiment. Again, not action from the wounded small self, action from this abundant self. Beautiful. And then we listen, and then that action might re-trigger your trauma again. <laughs> you might be guided to do something that really triggers you. So again, we go back to holding, right? Let's step on, relax. 
I want to release. So it's, can you see, it's a journey. I, I do this journey every day. <laughs> it's here all the time, throughout the day sometimes, depending on what's going on. <sighs> so just keep meeting ourselves, keep meeting ourselves. And within that, step six is mining for gold. Mining for gold. It can take time to mine for gold. And it might not be quite ready to find the gold right in the moment of the challenge of the trigger. But what you want to be looking for is what is the gold in this situation? What is the gift here? What is the gift here? Even if it's so painful, what is the gift here? And go looking for the gold. Go looking for the gold. It doesn't mean it's all peaches and cream and roses and butterflies and unicorns. No, but it's like, what is this pain or challenge or trigger growing me into? What is the gold here? So through the pain, the pain is our portal, mining for gold. But give this time because you cannot rush mining for gold if it's not ready. But we wanna keep looking for it. So we're moving out of victim consciousness into, there's gold here for me, where is it? Let's go find it. Where's the gold? Oh, this, this is painful, where's the gold? <laughs> you know, mining for gold is probably kind of hard, like trying to get around the rock. So we wanna be looking for the gold. This is hard, but this is here. This is here for me. Let's go find the gold, right? We surrender to the challenge. Surrendering to the challenge. Not easy, not easy at all. Um, but this is part of this path. And this is where we start finding the breakthroughs and the openings and the magical manifestations and this breaking through to your next level. It's an ongoing cycle of this. So this is adapting to change and some steps to help you with that. And um, please be loving and kind because we have to hold the vulnerable parts as well as the powerful parts. That heart-led leader is very powerful, very clear on what you're here to do and become, right? Knows how to create, knows how to manifest, but the very vulnerable part, you know, has experienced a lot of wounding, a lot of trauma, hasn't felt safe, it hasn't really been in the world. So we need to hold that with a lot of care and love as you transition through this chain and give yourself time. It's not a rush, it's not a race. So, but again, we don't wanna, you don't wanna abandon yourself through change. It's what I see a lot. I see triggers, I see walls going up, I see hiding, pulling away, shutting down, fighting, attacking. So it becomes either withdraw or like defend. And so what we want to do is drop all of that and, and go and find the deeper, richer experience through the change. Okay, so let's take a deep breath into that. <sighs> releasing with the exhale, releasing with the exhale. And just so you know, this is my, my personal practice all of the time. Uh, 2020 has been some of the hardest ones for me, as you know, um, my best friend suddenly dying, leaving behind her three kids um covid getting covid having long covid it's been very very intense but i i'm so used to like okay this is the most painful awful difficult thing in the world how do i surrender to this how do i drop in you know how do i hold myself through the trauma of it how do you know what support do i need and then letting the pain be the transformer Letting it be the thing that takes, taking me even deeper, losing my friend has taken me into a whole new level, whole new level, but awful, you know, awful to go through the grief. But again, the grief, there's golden grief, right? There's so much richness in, in actually experiencing ill health. If you're willing to work with it consciously, what's the body calling me into? What is this waking me up into? And so this is what we wanna become um, great cultivators of on this path and and leaders through and then you're also within your life and your business helping others to go through change as well in one way or another and when you've like lived it breathed it embodied it it makes you a more powerful and effective leader in every area of your life so let's take a deep breath in and just to say this is not everyone's path this is not everyone's path so we honor where everyone is and not everyone's up for this adventure on this level. So hat off to you for your immense courage to dive in and to do this work. 
and to listen and to face what most people aren't willing to face. So please honor your immense courage and strength. It's, it's huge, it's huge. So thank you, deepest gratitude. Let's bring in some of that gratitude. Maybe it's our step seven. A lot of gratitude for yourself and eventually finding that gratitude for the situations, right? Oh, but again, that takes time. We can't sort of always fast track that, but gratitude for yourself, for willing to face, willing to meet, willing to go where most people aren't willing to go. So thank you, thanking yourself. Gorgeous. So I'm gonna take you into a slightly deeper activation now. We're going to help your body surrender to change that is here, right? That is constant especially during these times. We're in a time of what feels to me like very fast change. Those that can adapt will thrive. Those that cling on to the old will struggle. It's hard either way, we might as well surrender. <laughs> what I say, saying the same is hard, changing is hard, right? We might as well make the changes that are going to help us thrive more in this life. That's the one thing I can say I've learned from so many years of experience is the trust that good comes up. The trust that amazing things happen when you have the courage to go in, right? That's what I've learned. And so when we're going through it, through the transformation, oh my Lord, right? We don't know what's going on. It feels very scary. It feels all over the place. It feels out of control. But to trust in the intelligence of that inner wisdom of source, that universal energy, your body, the earth, and dropping into that deeper level of trust that you are part of life and life has got your back. Thank you. All right, beautiful one, let's breathe in. So know that your heart and soul, it knows exactly what you're here to become. That heart and soul knows what is aligned for you to manifest. In some ways you don't even need to think about it, but the focusing on what you're here to manifest and create is holding the vision. It's really also for the mind to understand where you're going. <laughs> We want to breathe in and surrender to the deeper picture here, the deeper purpose. We're breathing in, we're breathing in the deepest love and care and support that is here all around you. Universal energy from life, right? From life all around you. We're practicing opening to receive, being supported by life, breathing that in and releasing with the exhale. We're breathing in, receiving with the inhale. What if it's all here for you? There's nothing to fight. Releasing with the exhale. <sighs> so this is an invitation to surrender through change, to surrender through change. So anywhere you're gripping on, holding on, clinging on, we're going to invite you in this moment to practice releasing, surrendering, letting go. Surrendering, letting go into the love and support that's here for you, even if you can't see it. The earth beneath you, holding you your body, life around you, sinking into what's here, even if it's not physically manifest yet. Breathing into a seat and releasing with the exhale, the part of you that's been hiding. We wanna release, release the grip of that hiding. Do you know it takes more energy to stay hidden, to stay small, to stay shut down? That's where a lot of energy goes. So when you can liberate yourself from some of those patterns of protection, you actually start to, in time, get more energy. So all the energy you've been using to hide, to fight, to defend, to shut down, to lock away. What if, if in this moment we release it? Release that grip. And let that flow of energy come in, down into those parts of the self where you've been hiding, where you've been shutting down, where you've been holding, protecting, defending. Let's in this moment, just relax it. And it's particularly around the pelvic floor, particularly on the belly, right? Those lower centers, you wanna relax them, relax the legs, relax the feet. Um, Breathe in to receive. Life has your back. It's here for you. Welcoming in. And then inviting your body to release. It's safe to let go. 
I surrender to life, I surrender to the unknown, I surrender to my heart, I surrender to my soul, that divinity within and without. <sighs> oh. Holding yourself with the deepest love and care, holding yourself with the deepest love and support, holding your own hand, giving yourself a cuddle, whatever that part needs to feel safe to let go. <sighs> Breathing in to receive. Releasing that grip of control with the exhale. Surrender and control. Oh. Stepping into the unknown. Sinking deeper, deeper into the body. Mm. We take it one step at a time. One step at a time. We're breathing more life now into those lower centers into the place where you've been hiding, defending, protecting. It's kind of where that ego lies, where that small self lives. In the dungeon of the self, in the darkness of the cave of the self. We wanna breathe light into there. We wanna breathe energy into there. Breathing in. Releasing the exhale. And one more time, let's breathe in, breathe to receive. Life has your back, life is here for you. Breathe to receive. Releasing that grip. We wanna find that vortex of flow, that spiral of flow, that flow between yourself and life, between your life force and life around you. And sometimes it takes time to find that flow. This is what we're waking up, that flow, that flow of connection between yourself and life, where you're co-creating together. You're in harmony with, working with. Loving yourself through all the wounding and trauma that you're releasing and the wounding and trauma in the world, right? Part of this is about bringing this new aligned version of you out into the world, right? sending ripples of change and transformation of a new way of living, a new way of being. It's heart, body aligned, earth aligned, soul aligned. So we're holding yourself through change in a, in a traumatized world, right? Within and without, bringing in this beautiful light of the heart, of the soul, of the body, of the earth. Let's surrender to that. Co-creating, co-creating dancing with life, breathe that through your body. We're welcoming this in, this new aligned connection. It's a new relationship, building trust with yourself, building trust with life. Yeah, breathing in, breathing in. Anything stopping or blocking from being in full harmonious flow and alignment with your heart, your soul, your inner wisdom, your inner guidance, earth, the material world, the physical world, and all levels of being, anything stopping or blocking you from that, now we release and let go. Step out, step out of the old suit. Step into embodying now, fully embodying who you are, who you are becoming, right? Let's embody that now. Well, waking that up into every cell in your body. Waking that up into every cell in your body now. Thank you. And so it is. Breathing that in. Well done, well done and thank you. Once again, please thank yourself for being willing to play. It's one day at a time, one step at a time, one breath at a time. And I would love to hear, I'd love you to share, to share what's come up for you with this session today, with this training and activation. I'd really love to hear. So much love and care for you on this journey of change. You're doing amazing. So, so much love.